All right, everybody, we're back here with another video. Uh, I ended up having to go all the way to LA today to pick up some items. I wasn't able to get in spot in line, but had a couple of the homies, you know, uh, sell me some stuff in line, so that was good. But why don't we kick it off here with the first item, dude? This freaking thong looking. <laughs> I don't know, man. You guys tell me, dude. When I first saw this, like, I got a little bit confused for a second there. I thought it was underwear, but nah, it's this mask here. I mean, if you've ever been camping before, you probably know that this thing would come in clutch. Uh, this, like, thin mesh material, super great for camping, but uh, let's just go ahead and throw this thing on, man. We'll see what we're looking like. <laughs> All right, you guys, dude, here is this freaking, I don't even remember what they call it. I think it was just a balaclava, but uh, you guys tell me what you think. Honestly, I think I like the piece, dude. I wish, like, you would be able to use it for COVID. I would rather wave have this than have the neck warmer that came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, but, yeah, I doubt, like, any place is going to let you in there with this only on. But, anyway, you guys tell me what you think, dude. <laughs> it feels pretty gangster, you know? I feel like I'm ready to hit a robbery or something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright man, we'll, we'll keep this on for just a little bit dude, and we'll, we, I want to show it with this hat right here man. We ended up picking up this, um, what was it, this Crusher by the South 2 West 8 man. So uh, let's throw it on right here for you guys. And here it is with the hat on man. Especially with the hat, I think this thing is pretty fire in my opinion. Um, maybe a little bit too gangster for me, but I think it's dope man. I'm ready to go hit up a bank man, see what they say when I walk in. but. So we'll get back to this, this hat right here. Uh, so the only thing that I do not like is that the logo is on this side and the tag is also on this side as well. So uh, I wish they would have had it like vice versa where you could have had the, the tag on the opposite side, but maybe that's just the way it is. Um, and then the only other thing too is that is that it doesn't line up necessarily perfectly. So yeah, I mean, so here is the ends of the straps right here, and that logo is like a little bit off center. If you see right there, that tag is perfectly center, and that logo is just slightly off center right there. So that's probably one of the only downsides, but I mean, if you wanted to wear it like this, you know, no logos on the front, totally good like that. Uh, personally, I'd rather rock it like this though, but. All right, yeah, enough of this nonsense, man. Let's go ahead and throw in the clock right here, uh, and we're gonna do a close-up, so let me show you guys right now. All right, you guys, here we go, man. We got the Supreme Seiko Psycho, something like that, uh, alarm clock. Once I saw how freaking small this thing was in pictures, it really kind of turned me off from, from the item in general, but I did try to get one online as well and wasn't able to secure one, so I had to go up in store and grab one. Uh, you guys tell me what you think, dude. I know this thing sold out super fast. I know this is like pretty much the only item with resale, so uh, I know it's probably the hypest item, but let's kick it off with probably the first unique thing that most people don't know is that you can actually take this thing off right here. Uh, you just gotta squeeze it in, pinch it, and boom, this thing can stand alone right here, which is uh, nice for filming the video, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, you got your on and off button, you got your reset button. Uh, if you ever run into any problems with the camera, just go ahead and hit that reset button. And it, you, it wants you to hit the reset button as soon as you plug in the batteries. So uh, we'll see how that works out right now. But you got your modes, and you got your pluses and minuses to change those things. They also did come with its own batteries as well, so that was kind of nice, double A. For a second, I thought these were actually Supreme branded batteries, but they're not. <laughs> I think it's just some cheap Chinese brand, but yeah, let's throw these guys in here, man. Yeah, and there you guys go. You just heard the alarm sound, so it will sound something like that. Sorry for not taking off the plastic. I just really want to resell this item. Um, <laughs> I don't really want to keep it after seeing how small it is. Just for perspective, here you guys go, dude. Palm size, finger, ha finger hand size, no doubt. But uh, without seeing the light on, guys, it's pretty hard to see. So that's probably one of the only other things uh, that bummed me out. But you got your on light right here, and uh, you can be able to see like AM, PM, uh, hours, minutes, and seconds. If you hit the mode button on the back, that's when you'll be able to see the different changes. You got month, date, and year. And then this is hours, minutes, and seconds. And then you got your regular standard time and you can set the uh, alarm clock as well. So you got your clocks, beeps, uh, snooze, light, stopwatch, countdown, timer, calendar, and the stand as well. So uh, overall, man, uh, a piece that in my opinion is so-so, dude. Will it stand the test of time? I don't think so. 
I'd way rather have like the camera that came out a couple weeks ago. That's just a, a piece that you'll really get to put into use. But uh, so, so to be honest, man, you guys tell me what you think too. So like I said, here we go. We got the stand right here, came with its own batteries. And then it also did come with uh, the instructions. So you got your instruction manual right here. You got this cool little um, certification of guarantee. And I don't know what this is, some Japanese stuff, but uh, this thing's probably weighing in at like a pound, maybe less, for sure less than a pound. All right, you guys, thanks man for watching the video. Don't forget to just like, comment, and subscribe, dude. Hopefully you guys got to pick up some of the items of the week that you really wanted. Uh, I didn't really want anything for the personal this week, but hopefully you guys got to see some of the items that you got, man. No high traffic, no car declines, dude. It's been so bad for me lately, but I'll catch you guys on the next one, dude. Thanks for supporting and all that stuff. You guys really appreciate it.